Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be covering three new launches that I am extremely excited about. We have tools, we have eyes, and we have lips as well. You probably saw it in the title and thumbnail of the video, but I'm going to be talking about the new Refer brush launch. Refer brushes, which you guys know I am obsessed with. They are launching two new brush sets and I'm going to tell you all about them in today's video. Plus the sets are going to be half off at launch, which they already launched. So if you want to grab them, please get them using my link down in the description box of this video. But besides that, I am dying to try this Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic Palette here. So I'm going to swatch it for you and we'll create a look with it using the new refer brushes, of course. And Ravi Beauty from the gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, amazing Ali Glines is here. And she was kind enough to send me her first ever release. I have the three lipsticks in this absolutely stunning denim bag right here. And I'm going to try all three of them for you. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, if you're watching this video, it means that the Refer brushes already launched. And if you're not familiar with Refer and how they create new products and improve their products, it's based off of customer feedback. So after checking out thousands and thousands of their customers' feedback, they saw that some people wanted slightly smaller and slightly larger versions of their favorite brushes. Refer's best-selling brushes happen to be brushes that I always recommend to you guys because they are truly that good. We're talking about the Refer number one, which is this mid-sized blending brush that is pinched on one side. The Refer number 15, which is my favorite one to blend my crease because it kind of has this like flatter top to it and it's nice and thick. The refer number 13 which I use every day to smoke out my lower lash line. The refer number 14 which I can use underneath my eye but I can also do detailed work on the outer corner with. And last but not least the refer number 2 which is just perfect for padding color onto the eyelid. So their two new brush sets are these brushes in a max brush set and a mini brush set right here. And I actually think this is a great idea because these brush shapes are absolutely spectacular already. So why would we not wanna have bigger and smaller versions of them? Anyways, let me show you each brush compared to the original so that you guys can see the difference. So here you have the Refer number 15, which is one of my most used brushes, as you can see by how dirty it is down there. <laughs> um, I honestly use this one almost every day. Then next to it, you can see the number 15 Max, which clearly is thicker and also a little bit longer. And then here, I'm gonna put it on this side. Here is the Refer number 15 mini on the other side, which I think is the same length, but just a smaller barrel. So it's just a little bit thinner than the original. Here is the original number 14, which I love to use for detail work on the outer corner of the eye or to blend out my under eye. And here it is next to the number 14 Max, which is honestly a lot larger. <laughs> it's longer, it's thicker, and it's pointed just like the number 14 is. And I think that the number 14 Max is going to be perfection to like really intensify colors on the outer corner while blending them at the same time because it'll do it a little faster than the regular number 14 and then take a look right here on the other side at the number 14 next to the 14 mini which is just a tad bit shorter it's thinner and also of course a pointed brush here is the original refer number two brush which is one of my most used flat brushes and next to it here is the number two max which i actually think i'm going to absolutely love because it just occupies more space while still being thin on the side so i feel like i can still get precise with it on the eyelid but it'll pack a bigger punch so i'm very very excited about the number two max and then here is the number two mini which is going to be amazing for like inner corner highlighter and whatnot i love a precision flat brush so in this case i feel like i'm pretty excited about both the max and the mini for different reasons the max can make me work faster and then the mini 
will give me a lot more precision when it comes to like the inner corner of the eye. Here's everyone's favorite brush, the Refer Number no. 1. As you can see, I've used the heck out of mine. It has all kinds of stains. And so let's put it next to the Number no. 1 Max, which as you can see has the exact same shape. It is just a little bit thicker and a little bit longer. I feel like I'm going to use this one probably quite a lot. After I break it in, I feel like these have to definitely be broken in a bit so that they just get a little fluffier, you know? There we go. I like that better already. So I do feel like this number one max is going to do wonders for me because it'll probably just help me blend a little faster. And then here is the number one mini, which you can be a bit more precise with. Let's put it next to it. So exact same shape, just a little thinner and a little shorter. And so that one is probably also going to be really good for some precision outer corner work right here. And I love that the Refer Number no. 1 brush has a flat side to it because it really helps you pack on the color. The last one is the number 13, which I absolutely love because it's a shorter brush and it's not pointed. It's a bit more flat at the tip, which I think really helps um, to diffuse product underneath the eye. So let's see it next to the 13 Max, which I think it's quite large in comparison. Here is the 13 Max. I really love that this one has that flat top to it to really blend products in place. And I'm honestly very excited to see which one of these Mini and Max brushes become favorites once I start playing with them and using them on a daily basis, because I'm not going to be able to tell you that today, but I'm excited about the possibilities, you know? And by the end of today's video, once I play with them with the new Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette, maybe I'll have an idea of whether I like the mini version of the brushes better, like in general as a set, or the maxi versions of the brushes better in general as a set. We'll see. Maybe I won't know. Anyways, here's the last brush, which is the 13 mini, which is adorable and I feel like it's very convenient and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of it because it's a bit thinner and a bit shorter while still having that beautiful flat top to it. So take a look right here at the last three. Hopefully in the future, Refer will have these brushes not just as sets, but as individual brushes as well, so that if I do end up having favorites as far as which ones I like more in the mini version and which ones I like more in the max version. Um, I can let you guys know and you can get the individual brushes rather than the set. However, I have not mentioned something spectacularly amazing about these brush sets. You guys know these are handcrafted natural hair Japanese brushes and they are amazing and they blend eyeshadow like crazy and they deposit a beautiful amount of pigment on the eyes. I love these brushes and Refer always makes them super affordable. So the good news is that each one of these sets retails for $60. That is unheard of, especially when it comes to natural hair brushes. So honestly, just run. Use the link I'm leaving you down below in the description box and run to their website and get yourself one or both of these sets because I don't think you're going to regret it. Just $60 for five different natural hair eyeshadow brushes is an incredible, incredible price. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the eye look and using this beautiful Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette. I'm taking away all of the original sized brushes so that I can only use the maxis and minis. And let's see what the beautiful Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic palette looks like. Oh, it's pretty. Looks like in real life. Oh my goodness. The duo chromes in here, you guys. Oh, the camera is so not going to do it justice. The duo chromes. Hold on, I think I need to maybe like take a video with my phone. Take a look right there with my phone. Even like this, I feel like it's not doing it justice. I promise you the shades captivating charming, seductive, rich, and magnetic have the craziest shifts to them. I already love them <laughs> and I haven't even swatched this. So let's go ahead and get on with the swatches. This Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette already launched as well. I do have a discount code with them. My code is patty 10 if you want to save some money. They are an indie brand based out of Australia, so the shipping takes a little long but the quality is amazing. If you're not yet sick of pink, highly recommend this color story. I know their quality is good, so just seeing that they created this stunning palette 
with these crazy shifty shades makes me very excited. Let's go for the swatches. Here is Admire Romantic, which is a topper. Intoxicating, which is a beautiful transition pink. Captivating is our first intense glittery shifty shade. And this one has like white sparkles and pink sparkles and gold sparkles as well. Look at these shimmers, oh my goodness. Next shade is Timeless. Charming, seductive, and rich. Wow. I am in awe of the ethereal shimmer shades in this palette. Oh my god, this multi-chrome. This one is called Magnetic. It looks shifty on camera, but I promise you, it also has blue and green. It's got like blue and green and pink and purple. It's crazy. I love this shade. So that was Magnetic. Ugh. So creamy, oh my god, I love it. Allure, get it together, Patricia. Lover, <laughs> and Devotion. Devotion is a very pretty peach, or it's orange actually, it's like a light orange shade. And then the last three mattes are Cherish, Intimate, and Passion. So take a look right there at the incredible swatches of this Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette. I am in love. On to the eye look and the first brush I want to try is the 15 Max because I love a thick blending brush. So I'm going to use the shade Intoxicating here and we are going to blend that color all throughout the crease of my eye as my transition. And this Max number 15 makes it easy, especially if you have a lot of space like in between the eyeball and the eyebrow like I do. So I'm doing the same thing over here. Pretty easy for a very light transition shade. Next, I'm going to use the number one Max because I want to. <laughs> I want to use the shade Devotion, which is this beautiful orange shade right here. And I'm going to use this color on the outer third of my eyelid and then also blend it into my crease. And this number one max, I feel like is almost as thick as the regular number 15, but it's pinched. So you can kind of do more with it because you can go across and then you can also just intensify things on the outer corner as well. I like it. I like the number one max. Plus, as you can see, it also is blending everything very beautifully and covering a lot of territory back here. So then I'm switching to the number one mini because I feel like with this one you can get more precise on the outer corner. And so I want to use it with the shade, I'm thinking Cherish, but I could also do Timeless. Admire would be a good one too. I just really love this orangey color, so I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to go for Timeless because this is a very, very different shade. When I swatched it, I'm like, I don't have anything like this. It's like a mustard green almost. So this is the color I'm going to put on the outer third of my eyelid. And then with this number one mini, which is very precise, I'm going to slowly blend it into the orangey color. I lowered the light a bit because I thought it was looking very bright. So packing this mustard green color in place first. Just like this. And you know what brush would be really good to blend these two? The number 13 Max because it has that flat top. Mm. So with a clean number 13 Max, I'm just going to blend the edge of that mustard green shade. Just like so. Definitely time for the number two Max because I want to pack some color on the center of my eyelid and the color I want to go for is magnetic because I can't not use magnetic. I feel like it doesn't even match anything I have on my eyes right now, but it's such a shifty shade that I feel like it'll work anyways. So I'm going in with magnetic just because it was the most spectacular swatch <laughs> and I'm going to put magnetic right here in the center of my eyelid, just packing it with the number two max, which is a good brush for this because it's large. So you can pack on your shimmer very fast. See, like, I feel like that color doesn't necessarily work with the rest of the colors, but because it's so shifty, it does. So a little more, we're doing it on the other side. And I'm going to leave space to add at least two more shimmers. So right over here. With the other side of the number two max, I'm going to grab the shade Seductive. And Seductive is going to be the color on the inner third of my eyelid, right here. Ooh, 
so pretty. Before I do my inner corner highlighter, let's work on the under eyes. So this right here is a 13 mini and I'm going to get my mustardy green timeless color. And this one I'm going to smudge right underneath my eye in between my lower lashes, back and forth all the way in. And you can actually pack a punch with this number 13 mini because it's so small, I love it. Plus it makes even this darker shade not look harsh. But don't worry, we're going to diffuse it still. To diffuse that shade, I'm going to use the 14 mini, which is pointed and pretty small, but it's a little longer. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know about this, but we'll see. And I'm going to get the shade Devotion and run it right under. Yes, I do like this brush for this because it's leaving the mustard green color in place while diffusing just the edge of it because the brush is so thin. I like this. So last but not least with the number two mini and the shade Captivating, we are doing the inner corner of the eye right here. Just popping it right here. And so first of all, take a look at the final result with this rich romantic palette from Glaminatrix. I love it. I'm obsessed. It's so good. But then I wanted to show you the two brushes that I haven't used yet. And there's a mini and a max and they are kind of similar to one another. Um, the only brushes I didn't immediately find use for in the way that I do my makeup or that I did my eye makeup today at least were the 14 max and the 15 mini, which as you can see, there's a little length difference between them, but they are both round brushes with domed tips. I feel like these brushes you could definitely use for like detailed outer corner work, but I didn't today. I'm sure I'll use them in the future, but for today's video, I literally found a job for all of the other brushes and not the 14 Max and not the 15 Mini. Can I choose between the Max and the Mini set? No, because I used the same amount of brushes of both. <laughs> I feel like for the most part, if you have smaller eyes and you struggle with big brushes, definitely go for the Mini set. And if you have a lot of space between your crease and your brow right here. I feel like you'll find really nice use for the MAC sets. Now, if you love refer brushes like I do, and you can spare the money for both sets, I would definitely get both sets. Anyways, let me finish my eye look by doing some mascara and lashes. And when I get back, we'll definitely be trying the new lipsticks from Revee Beauty. These lashes might just be a little much for this eye look, but they're the only ones I had at hand. These are from Juvia's Place and I do love them. It's just that the eye look is not as smoky. So I feel like I could have gone with more natural looking lashes, whatever. <laughs> Time, as promised, to try the Ravi Beauty lipsticks from the new um, makeup brand from Ali Glines. Here are the three fabulous lipsticks and I'll of course have the link to these down below in the description box. Here is what the packaging looks like. These are made in Italy, which you guys know, Italy is known for the best formulas and they have this skinny component to them. The first color I'm going to try is called Tulip and these are buildable formula. So you could do one swatch for a light look and you can also build it up if you want intensity. I have a teeny tiny bit of lip liner that I used earlier just to even out my lips. So I'm just going to use it with that bit of lip liner. And so here is Tulip. Here's what one good swipe of Tulip looks like. I am going to build it up in a second, but I do already love it this way. I thought this was a bit of a scary color. You guys know I love nudes, but this looks really nice. I'm going to build it up now, do some more layers of it so you can see what it looks like once it's a bit more intense. Here's multiple layers on top versus one at the bottom. And now I just evened it out so this is what it looks like with the full pigmentation. I gotta say the texture of these lipsticks is lovely. It feels like you just put the most hydrating balm on your lips, yet you get really good pigmentation from them and the most amazing glow. So absolutely love them. Next color we're trying is the shade Dahlia. Here is Dahlia when you just do a couple of swipes. I love this one. This is a much more patty shade because it's like a bit of a cool toned, rosy, nudie type lipstick. And now let's build it up to get more intensity. 
Yup, I absolutely love Dahlia. Dahlia is definitely my shade. <laughs> I don't want to take it off, but we have to try Lily. This one, I think this is going to be my favorite, though I love Dahlia so much. Finally, we're trying Lily, and Lily is also a pretty nude shade, so I think I'll also like this one a lot. Yup, Lily is definitely a my lips but better type of lipstick. I love it, and I feel like this isn't even like the lightest layer you can get because since it's so similar to the color of my lips, I just kept on going. So this is like two swipes, okay? Not one. Take a look right here. We're still going to build it up some more though. Let's go for a little bit more Lily. I honestly loved all three of the colors. A huge congratulation to Ali on the launch of her new brand. This is so exciting. Even Tulip, which I thought was a bit out there for me because you guys know I'm super boring when it comes to lipsticks. I love to stay in my nude um, side. But even Tulip I thought was amazing and it actually matched the eye look that I'm wearing today. So I loved it. I do have one more thing to mention to you guys, and that is that Refer is not only launching their eye sets, they are also launching the very fancy brush that I spoke to you guys about in a previous video. This one is a handcrafted, hand-painted Japanese brush that has the highest quality goat hair bristles. They have different categories for goat hair, and this one has the highest quality. Plus, it has a hand-painted wooden handle as well which is lovely. This beautiful brush right here also launched today. This is a collector's item. From what I understand, these types of brushes usually retail for like $250 to $300, and you can get this refer one for $88. I would love to tell you about the performance of it, but it's so beautiful <laughs> that I haven't wanted to use it. I'm sure this is going to be a fantastic cheek brush, but I just... I wanted to like be beautiful and new forever, and so I haven't wanted to use mine. I'm sorry. I'm failing at my job right here, but it's honestly just such a pretty brush. I can't get myself to do it. One last thing, there's makeup sales already happening, and so I listed three in the description box of this video that you guys might be interested in. You can get 30% off Charlotte Tilbury products right now. You can get 40% off Tarte Cosmetics products right now and 20% off at Tatcha. I left you the links down below in the description box in case you're interested. And I really hope that you guys liked this video and that this video was helpful. I had an absolute blast playing with the Ravi Beauty lipsticks. I am obsessed. This is a fantastic formula. Highly recommend. Everything I tried in today's video was a massive success. This Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette right here, astonishingly beautiful. I love it. And you can save 10% off with my code PADDY10. I am just weak for shimmery, glittery shades that have intense shifts to them. And this is exactly what they gave us here. And the maxi and mini brushes from Refer were an absolute delight to play with. I can already see a lot of these brushes becoming favorites of mine because I really enjoyed doing my eyes today. And the variety of uses that I was able to give these brushes. If you're interested in any of the products I talked about in today's video, please shop for them using the links I'm leaving you down below in the description box. Whenever you use my links, it helps out my channel. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.